Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Design Tech, the name of my custom mod pack. And in today's episode, we are going to be working on a mob spawner, specifically an Enderman spawner, because once we have access to basically an unlimited supply of Ender Pearls, then we can really start getting into some of the good stuff. So, I've been very busy between episodes. Let me kind of show you what I've done. I've got a chest here where I've kind of gathered, I think, everything that we're going to need in this episode that I've put together. Lots of little minute crafting. For example, uh, these conduit facades are made using conduit binders, and I made a painting machine, which is electrical steel, all this various stuff. None of it is super hard to make, per se, but it's just a lot of little, uh, little kind of nuanced crafting, and I didn't want to take up a whole lot of time with that. Um, I did get an Enderman head. I did get some Enderman heads, which were pretty hard to get. Uh, I had to make a, basically a beheading cleaver. Um, so it's a Manulin blade, everything else is paper, and it's got beheading seven on it, so I could kill Enderman uh, just outside at night and get their heads, because they're actually needed for a few of the machines. So... Let's just kind of grab all this stuff, like so, and uh, I'm just going to put this anvil right here for the moment. I suppose we can pick this up now because I don't need it anymore. All right, so let's get into some basic crafting here. The first thing that I want to make is I want to make some item conduits, and for those I'm going to use pulsating iron which is just iron ingots and ender pearls in an alloy smelter. And then I'm going to make some of these item conduits. And those will uh, basically just take the ender pearls that we're going to get from our farm and uh, turn them into, um, you know, put them in a chest, basically. So the next thing we're going to need to make is a powered spawner. And that is right here. There we go. So let's make one of those. And that is electrical steel. Why? Oh, I'm not on a crafting table. There we go. Oh, don't do that. Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing one of the heads. Um, do, 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 do. Where did I put it? There it is, this Z-Logic controller. I had to make a slice and splice. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, powered spawner. Here we go. So, there's that. The hard part of that to get were these vibrant crystals because I needed to find emeralds. But, if you look on the map, right here there's an extreme hills biome. So somewhere, I think on this side, there's a little uh, staircase that leads down where I did a little bit of mining until I found an emerald or two. Um... But, we're good there. Now, we need to take a broken spawner, take this empty powered spawner, and put it together. And this is now a powered blaze spawner. Now, the reason that I'm going with the spawners from Ender.io instead of the spawners from, uh, I think it's Mine Factory Reloaded. Either that or Thermal Expansion. I can't remember. Let's find out. Um, do 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 Mine Factory Reloaded, uh, is because the Mine Factory Reloaded ones require mob essence, which I don't really have a lot of. The Ender IO ones just require power, and it's a lot of power, but I've got a big reactor that's not even using close to its full potential right now, so I decided to go that route instead. Um, now, that took all of my levels, so let's head back into Ender IO. Here we go. And the other thing I'm going to need is this soul binder right here. And that, uh, that, what am, what am I missing? A machine chassis. I need to make a machine chassis real quick. Okay, that's easy to do. So we need a little bit of that. We need, I'm going to need more gold nuggets than that. And copper, I believe it is. Let's go, there we go. Like so, we can put those away, grab, I've got iron, grab some of that, and basic controller into a machine chassis, there we go. 
Okay, so now I should be able to make this soul binder. Except I need a skeleton head too. Uh, where are my skeleton heads? There they are. Okay. That should be everything, unless I'm losing my mind. There we go. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to convert um, this powered blaze spawner into whatever kind of spawner I want. Specifically in this case, I'm going to want an enderman spawner. Now what I need to do is I need to find this soul vial right here. And uh, let's just get this anvil and put it somewhere else. But basically, I'm going to need to capture myself an Enderman soul, which honestly isn't that hard to do. Um, I'll just have to find an Enderman and click on it with the bottle. But I also need to get a whole bunch of levels because once I've got the soul, the soul binder uses experience to convert it. So that's going to be the tricky part. Um, ooh, and luckily enough, it is night. So let's head off. Not a good time, Creeper. Leave me alone. Let's head off and see if we can find an... Oh, it's raining, though. Um, yeah. There's, like, no way I'm gonna get an Enderman. Oh, maybe I can, though. Maybe if he's... Yeah, there's one hiding down there under the trees. Okay. Let's be... Let's be sneaky. Oh, he hit the rain. He got... He got rained on. And he got instantly all scared and spooked and ran away. Um, where'd he go? That's a witch. I want nothing to do with the witch. In fact, let's kill the witch. Please don't hit me with a potion. Thank you. I don't know where this Enderman went. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh, wow. I'm getting wrecked right now. Okay, into the base, into the base, into the base, into the base. Whew! That was a close one. That was a really close one, guys. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna sleep and wait for a night that isn't raining. And, uh, this is gonna take me a little while, so... Give me one moment, guys, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I am back, and I found some Endermen. I also found a whole bunch of other mobs, but all I need... ...is... ...one Enderman soul. Got it. Alright. Now we can get out of here. Oh, man. Okay, uh, so I'll meet you back at the base, guys. All right, guys, we are back at the base, and we are safe and sound, which makes me extremely happy. Oh, I killed an Enderman on the way back, and he dropped another skull for me. Oh, that was kind of him. Uh, so anyway, we've got our soul vial. We've got our soul binder. And now we need to basically change this blaze spawner into an Enderman spawner. So, that's what we're gonna do. I did make myself a Yetta wrench right here, and this is kind of the wrench from uh, Ender I.O. And I think we'll just take out that block back there. We don't really need it. And you can see, if you sneak back here, I've got power conduits kind of running all along that little section. So, we can put a soul binder right here. It's going to charge up, and it is going to take a while for this to do its thing, it's also going to need quite a few levels. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this double layer capacitor into it because that will make it work twice as fast. And then we'll put a soul vial in. Uh, um, okay. Wait a minute. Why, why you know? Oh. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Please tell me that I've got the right kind of spawner. Tell me it didn't have to be an empty one. Uh, let's see. Powered. No, we need the soul binder. Soul Binder, used to convert the type of a broken spawner. Oh no! We need a new spawner. Oh no! 
Alright guys, let me get this sorted out and I'll be back in a little while. Alright guys, I am back and the good news is we do have that blaze spawner that uh, we found in the nether fortress, which is good. The problem is, this is the only blaze spawner I've got at the moment. Um, oh, I botched this horribly. Uh, and I do need this spawner to get me the levels so that I can actually convert it. Uh, after I break it, so I'm gonna do some grinding here at this kind of makeshift uh, EXP farm, and I'll be back in just a little bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and I may have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew. Um, the blazes have escaped, and apparently this one is trapped and can't take damage or something? I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, let me get my stuff kind of situated Hopefully I can, hopefully I can get out of this in one piece. Um, because apparently this guy can't be damaged or something. He's, I don't know what's going on, guys. Um, hmm. Maybe he's trapped in the wall? And that's what's preventing it? No, no, he's just not taking any damage. What is going on? Ah. Uh, Grr, this is so annoying. Like, seriously? Alright guys, let me get this sorted out and I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, I got it all sorted out. Man, what a pain that was. I must have died like 60 times, but, well, maybe it wasn't that many. But I'm here in the Extreme Hills biome because, due to my colossal mistake, I now need to find some more emeralds. Because I only have one, and I need two in order to fix this. Um, so that's what we're looking for. I'm doing a little bit of caving. We found a pretty nice cave system here. Although it doesn't really look like there's anything around that's going to help me. That's too bad. That is too bad. I was really hoping that we'd find some easy emeralds. Although we haven't looked this way. Maybe we'll find some easy emeralds over here? No? Hmm. Oh! Emeralds! Please give me... All right, there we go. Now ah, we're getting somewhere. Okay. I've got my four emeralds. I don't actually need all four. I really only needed two... Uh, actually, I only needed one. But... While I'm here, I might as well look around at least a little bit more, so uh, give me one minute here, guys, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I am back. I've got my emeralds that I need. Uh, it looks like I am going to have to use a couple more ender pearls to get this up and rolling again, because we need some of that um, conductive iron, or not, What? what is it? Let's take a look here. We need... This vibrant alloy, that's what it is. Ooh, and actually, that means we need the energetic alloy first. So gold, redstone, and glowstone. So let's grab some of that. We've got some of this. We need gold. I don't suppose I have any. Oh, I've actually already got some. Sweet. So in that case, we'll just do... Two of those with those. And that will make us energetic alloy. Now, there are other things that need to be done then as well. Let's see here. Let me clear at least some of this stuff out. Uh, it was just kind of a random short mining excursion. Nothing, nothing to write home about, that's for sure. I'll just, whatever, just... Get, just get out of my inventory. I don't even care right now. Uh, do, 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 and you there, and you go there, and you go there. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and break this right away. That's going to give me this broken spawner. Which I suppose... Ah, oh, I hate I hate to do that. That means if I want blazes, I'm going to have to find another blaze spawner. Which means I'm probably going to have to find another nether fortress. And that makes me really sad. But... I think we'll be okay. 
Let's do that. We'll grab our two emeralds out of there. I'm just going to put the plastic away. And... Bam. Two of those. Okay. Now, that's to make this powered spawner. I need another Z-Logic controller. So, we're going to need two iron. Uh, actually, we're going to need... Let's look at that one more time. Yeah, okay, we're good. So, two soul sand. And then I need two silicon, redstone, and a zombie head. And we can start getting that put together. Now, the, the uh, slice and splice, that's this thing right here, basically will take... Uh, what? Wait, what? Oh, really? Grr. All right. It didn't like me. It's giving me the materials that I don't want. Uh, two iron. Just in case it grabbed my... Uh, just in case it grabbed my iron out of there. Okay, it didn't. Um. Oh, no, no, no. It, wait. Is it gold? Oh, it's gold, not iron. Ah, bugger. Okay, well, we will be okay. Let's go here. Oh, and you know what? I just realized it's always been interesting to me that different areas have different ideas of what is acceptable and what isn't. For example, there are certain words that I'm trying to break the habit of saying because even though in the United States, where I'm from, they have absolutely no negative connotation whatsoever, in other countries like Britain, they're quite offensive. So I'm trying to break the habit of saying certain things, and I apologize if you catch me doing that. So let's take a look here. Okay, silicon, zombie head, solarium, redstone. And that is going to start pumping out a Z-Logic controller. Should be done before long. There we go. We've got one of those now. Powered spawner. Powered spawner. Right here. Need more electrical steel. Need a machine chassis. And any type of head from a critter of some sort. So, electrical steel. I've got two here. Um, pulverized coal, silicon, and iron. Okay. I need to find a better way to organize all this stuff, if you ask me. Let's just go make some more. Alright, so I'm going to get everything together, guys, and I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, guys, I am back, and I think I have everything together. I did go ahead and make another uh, empty powered spawner. Uh, we've got the Enderman soul sitting in our soul binder over here, and we do have another broken spawner from the blaze that I kind of looted from uh, elsewhere. But, this thing is going to start, uh, oh, oh, a thousand RF per tick. Okay, I think we need to increase the power coming off of here. Let's bring it to 50%. That should jack the power up pretty high. Get us up to maybe, maybe a thousand RF per tick. It'll be pretty close. But it's going. Man, is that thing going slow, though. It takes a while. Takes a while for sure. Whew. All right, guys. I'll be back when that's done. Hey, guys. I am back, and I'm in the nether right now, exploring this nether fortress a little bit more. Um, kind of trying to accomplish two things. I'm trying to both find another blaze spawner that I can break, just in case, or that I can actually take in my dolly. Um... And also, 
I'm trying to get up to 30 levels so that I can make the spawner that I need. Uh, primarily by gathering quartz. That's what's that's what I've been doing. I'm I'm getting pretty close. I'm up to level 27. So just whoa, where did you come from? Uh, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a status update, guys, and uh, I'll see you if I can make it out of here alive. I'll see you back at the base. All right, guys, I am back, and I finally, finally have the 30 levels that I need. Uh, actually, pretty good haul of stuff from the nether, um, I must say. We did all right. We did all right. I found a massive amount of cobalt and uh, a bunch of other stuff, too. So we actually did pretty well. I even managed to pick up one wither skeleton skull. Uh, but for now, I can, you know, sort this stuff out later. Um... Let's just get it all out of our inventory. Bada bing, bada boom. Get out of here. Okay. And we'll just put it all away and I'll sort it out between episodes. Um, so. Couple things to consider. There we go. Uh, let's see. First of all, is this done? It is, and we have a broken Enderman spawner now, which is fantastic. So, now if we take this empty powered spawner, we take that anvil, we put the anvil down. There we go. Powered Enderman spawner, and that was what we really, really needed. So now, now we can get into doing some other fun stuff. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves a grinder. That's going to be very important. And, oh, that's right. Ender.io changes the recipe for the grinder. Uh, so, I can use an Invar sword or I can use the Ender, which is actually pretty easy to make. So, I'm going with this one. Uh, looks like I do need one more machine frame, and I'm also gonna have to run some power conduits and stuff too, so give me a little bit, guys, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got a conduit run all the way up to the, uh, big reactor. You can see it kind of coming down here, and, uh, what we'll probably do do is kind of patch this up as best we can. That's the reactor as well, so that all looks fine. Okay, so there's that, and then it goes from there basically to the smeltery room right here. Oh, uh, I'll fix that later. And then it just kind of hides down underneath the smeltery room. So, Pretty straightforward. Now, the next thing to do... Oh, and actually, we should also grab this double layer capacitor because that is going to be needed for the Enderman farm right over here. And I did also go ahead and make myself a grinder as well. So that's also obviously fairly important. Uh, now the question is, where do I, how do I want to run the grinder, and how much conduit do I have? I've only got like 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, yeah, I should still have enough. Um, hmm. How do I want to run this? I hate to just completely cover it up. You know, for now... I think we'll deal with automating this next episode. For now, let's just go ahead and turn this, put that in place. That will power up. We'll put our double layer capacitor in there. And then, as you can see in just a moment here, oh, I need, oh, here we go. There we go. As you can see, it is now spawning Enderman. We'll check in just a moment. Yep, there we go. We've got 
Endermen all over the place. Teleporting out, though, which... That worries me a little bit. I'm worried they're gonna kind of get loose and, and basically just destroy my base. So let's turn off the, uh... Let's turn off the spawner for the moment. But this will at least give us a decent source of ender pearls, uh, assuming we can stay alive long enough to actually kill them. But yeah, this will give us a decent source of ender pearls, uh, and I think next episode we'll get into automating it because we are definitely out of time for this one. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.